Digital Globe is an American commercial vendor of space imagery and geospatial content, and operator of civilian remote sensing spacecraft. The company went public on the New York Stock Exchange on 14 May 2009, selling 14.7 million shares at $19 each to raise $279 million in capital. On 5 October 2017, Maxar Technologies completed its acquisition of Digital Globe. The Worldview satellites should not be confused with Worldview the company, a stratospheric balloon operator. Topic origins Worldview Imaging Corporation was founded in January 1992 in Oakland, California in anticipation of the 1992 Land Remote Sensing Policy Act enacted in October 1992 which permitted private companies to enter the satellite imaging business. Its founder was Dr. Walter Scott, who was joined by co-founder and CEO Doug Gerrell in late 1992. In 1993, the company received the first high-resolution commercial remote sensing satellite license issued under the 1992 Act. The company was initially funded with private financing from Silicon Valley sources and interested corporations in N America, Europe, and Japan. Dr. Scott was head of the Lawrence Livermore Laboratories Brilliant Pebbles and Brilliant Eyes projects which were part of the Strategic Defense Initiative. Doug Gerrell was the executive in charge of the Mapping Sciences Division at the Intergraph Corporation. The company's first remote sensing license from the United States Department of Commerce allowed it to build a commercial remote sensing satellite capable of collecting images with 3 meters (9.8 feet) resolution. In 1995, the company became Earthwatch Incorporated, merging Worldview with Ball Aerospace and Technologies Corp's commercial remote sensing operations. In September 2001, Earthwatch became Digital Globe. In 2007, Digital Globe acquired online imagery provider Globe Explorer to extend its imagery distribution capabilities via online APIS and web services. In 2011, Digital Globe was inducted into the Space Foundation's Space Technology Hall of Fame for its role in advancing commercial Earth imaging satellites. In 2013, Digital Globe purchased GOAA. In February 2017, MDA and Digital Globe reached an agreement for MDA to acquire Digital Globe for US$2.4 billion. As of May 2017, Digital Globe's image catalog contains 100 petabytes worth of data and grows by 100 terabytes each day. As on the 5th of October 2017, MDA has announced it has completed its acquisition of Digital Globe. Topic: Satellites. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Early Bird One. Early Bird One was launched for Earth Watching on December 24, 1997, from the Svobodny Cosmodrome by a Start One launch vehicle. It included a panchromatic camera with a 3 m resolution and a multispectral camera with a 15 m resolution. Early Bird 1 was the first commercial satellite to be launched from the Svobodny Cosmodrome. IKONOS IKONOS was launched September 24, 1999. It was the world's first high-resolution commercial imaging satellite to collect panchromatic black and white images with 0.8 m resolution and multispectral color imagery with 3.2 m resolution. On March 31, 2015, IKONOS was officially decommissioned after more than doubling her mission design life, spending 5,680 days in orbit and making 83,131 trips around the Earth. <laughs> Quickbird QuickBird, launched on October 18, 2001, was Digital Globe's primary satellite until early 2015. 
It was built by Ball Aerospace, and launched by a Boeing Delta II. It is in a 450 km altitude, minus 98 degree inclination sun-synchronous orbit. An earlier launch attempt resulted in the loss of QUICK BIRD-1. It included a panchromatic camera with a 60 cm resolution and a multispectral camera with a 2.4 m resolution. On January 27, 2015, QuickBird was deorbited, exceeding her initial life expectancy by nearly 300%. GEOEYE-1 The GEOEYE-1 satellite collects images at 0.41 m panchromatic black and 1.65 m multispectral resolution. The satellite can collect up to 350,000 square kilometers of multispectral imagery per day. This is used for large-scale mapping projects. GEOEYE-1 can revisit any point on Earth once every three days or sooner. <inaudible> Worldview satellites <inaudible> Worldview-1 Ball Aerospace built Worldview-1. It was launched on September 18, 2007 from Vandenberg Air Force Base on a Delta II 7920 c Launch services were provided by United Launch Alliance. The National Geospatial Intelligence Agency is expected to be a major customer of Worldview One imagery. It included a panchromatic only camera with a 50 cm maximum resolution. Topic: <laughs> Worldview 2. Ball Aerospace built Worldview 2. It was launched on October 8, 2009. Digital Globe partnered with Boeing Commercial Launch Services to deliver Worldview 2 into a sun-synchronous orbit. The satellite includes a panchromatic sensor with a 46 cm in maximum resolution and a multispectral sensor of 184 cm in. Topic: Worldview 3. Ball Aerospace built Worldview 3. It was launched on August 13, 2014. It has a maximum resolution of 25 cm (9.8 in). Worldview 3 operates at an altitude of 617 km (383 miles), where it has an average revisit time of less than once per day. Over the course of a day it is able to collect imagery of up to 680,000 square kilometers, 260,000 square miles. Previously, Digital Globe was only licensed to sell images with a higher resolution than 50 centimeters, 20 in to the US military. However, Digital Globe obtained permission in June 2014 from the US Department of Commerce to allow the company to more widely exploit its commercial satellite imagery. The company was permitted to offer customers the highest resolution imagery available from their constellation. Additionally, the updated approvals allowed the sale of imagery to customers at up to 25 cm panchromatic and 100 cm 39 in multispectral ground sample distance (GSD) beginning 6 months after Worldview 3 became operational. Worldview 3 was launched aboard a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket in the 401 configuration on August 13, 2014, at 11.30 local time from SLC-3 at Vandenberg Air Force Base. Worldview 3 is the industry's first multi-payload, super-spectral, high-resolution commercial satellite. Worldview 4 
The Worldview 4 satellite is designed to provide panchromatic images at a highest resolution of 0.31 m per pixel in px, and multispectral images at 1.24 m per pixel in px. Originally named GEOEYE-2, the spacecraft was designed and built by Lockheed Martin, while the camera payload was provided by ITT Corporation. Following the merger of GOAA and Digital Globe, Digital Globe announced that GEOEYE-2 would be completed as a ground spare to be launched if or when required. It was renamed to Worldview 4 in July 2014, when the company announced that it would be launched in fall 2016. It was launched on November 11, 2016. In January 2019, the company reported the failure of a control moment gyroscope on the satellite, rendering it inoperable. <laughs> Worldview Legion Currently being built by SSL, Worldview Legion is Digital Globe's next generation of Earth observation satellites. Worldview Legion consists of six satellites planned to start launching in 2021 into a mix of sun synchronous and mid latitude orbits. These satellites will replace imaging capability currently provided by Digital Globe's Worldview 1, Worldview 2, and GEOEYE 1 Earth observation satellites. The first block of Worldview Legion satellites is contracted to launch on two flight tested SpaceX Falcon 9 rockets in 2021. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Customers and competitors. Digital Globe's customers range from urban planners, to conservation organizations like the Amazon Conservation Team, to the U.S. federal agencies, including NASA and the United States Department of Defense's National Geospatial Intelligence Agency Much of Google Earth and Google Maps high-resolution imagery is provided by Digital Globe. In recent years Google has stopped using space collection and focused more on aerial collection. This can be seen when attributes are displayed in Google Earth's historical viewer. They typically use imagery from USDA Bureau of Farms and harvested data from local and state level orthographic programs, as is imagery used in TerraServer and Apple Maps. Digital Globe's main competitors were GOAA, formerly Orbimage and Space Imaging, before their merger with Digital Globe. Spot Image remains a competitor. Topic. See also. Photogrammetry. Remote sensing. Satellite Sentinel project. Tomnod, a digital globe project that uses crowdsourcing to identify objects and places in satellite images.